you. It feels so good to be here. I just got off of work tonight. I work over at Cinnabar, Mount Pleasant. For those of you that have never been there, it's like a movie theater slash bar slash restaurant. And uh, like everybody else, I hate my job. So I've created a game to play to help my shift a little bit faster. I like to judge the shit out of everybody who walks in the door. I, uh, I try and guess what movie people are going to without looking at their tickets. I'll give you an example. Let's say a group of dudes walk into the place like they own it. They're wearing like some Sperry boat shoes, some lobster embroider golf shorts, and croquis around their necks. Oh, hi, excuse me, Trad, Rutledge, Calhoun, and Brian. Social Network's gonna be down the hallway in theater six. <laughs> Make sure you take notes, cause you two are gonna have to create the next Facebook. As soon as you find out that your undergrad business degree from College of Charleston doesn't mean shit anymore. <laughs> the only thing your undergraduate degree is good for is your employer to wipe their dick off with after they ass rape you in your first job interview. <laughs> Here's the McUltra and a koozie for you. Enjoy. Alrighty, next in line here at Fun Times at Cinnabar, Sarah. We got a family. And uh, they are looking like they dressed up to go to the big city of Mount Pleasant. They're all wearing a white sketcher, some acid wash jorts, and Carolina Panthers jerseys. Oh, hey y'all, I'll meet you in your theater with the booster seat. Get ready to see Saw 3D tonight? Enjoy. You know it's a really classy night out when the father will steal the paper cup from the child so they can spit their tobacco dip in. Like, Sir, would you mind throwing that away on your way home to Goose Creek tonight? Thank you very much. Ooh, what, what is that noise in the parking lot? Is that a pack of wild hyenas being gang raped? No, that's the Mount Pleasant Cougar Association. <laughs> Having a girls' night out to see sex in the city, too. <laughs> the thing I love about these ladies is that they think their lives are just as fashionable as the girls from Sex in the City. I got news for you, ma'am. You're not a Carrie. You can't wear six-inch Manola Blahna heels down the street. You're the lady at Town Center wearing Keds that you bought from Rack Room Shoes. <laughs> And you actually didn't buy them full price, you got them BOGO along with your Skechers shape-ups. <laughs> uh, Ma'am, you definitely don't have the sexual prowess of a Samantha who uh, comes in four hours late to work and tries to talk her boss into the fact that it's not a big deal that she was late because she had a 10-hour sex marathon last night. You're the lady at Red Drum trying to convince a Wando High senior their herpes isn't such a big deal. <laughs> Sugar, baby. I only have like two outbreaks a year, and they're never on my face, so no one will know. <laughs> All right, y'all are still with me. <laughs> um, so, who here uses Craigslist? Yeah. All right, yeah, I recently bought an awesome sofa off Craigslist, so I figured I would try my luck with the uh, personal ads. So, I uh, started emailing this guy. And he would send me some really, really nasty emails. One was like, bitch, why don't you come over to my house and ride my rascal? I was like, um, yeah, because I think it's so sexy how guys name their penises. I raced right over there. It was just a little interesting when he answered the door riding a motorized scooter. Kind of awkward, but uh, I'm an equal opportunity lover, so I jumped right on that shit. I'm not going to tell you what the details were, but he said it was the best roadhead he ever had. <laughs> we ended up staying together for a while, you know, because there are some positives to dating a paraplegic. <laughs> he would make me feel pleasures that no other man would ever make me feel. One day I came home from a really stressful shift at work, so to make me feel like a princess, he tied a balloon to his chair and rolled that shit right across the living room. It's like, oh, baby, thanks for my own Macy's Day Parade. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't until the end, the end of our relationship that I uh, found out that everything's not right. He uh, was cheating on me. 
I try to stop him by just kicking away the access ramp to our house. <laughs> Baby, where are you gonna go? You're not gonna make it down these stairs. 